this is the website of usertesting.com. Apparently, user testing is the easiest side hustle that doesn't cost you anything to start and it can make you loads of money. Let's see if that's true. Social media is plastered with easy ways to make money online. Side hustle this, passive income that. And with over a decade of experience, I'm gonna put all the most popular side hustles to the test. See what works, what doesn't, and how much money you can actually make. This is tested. User testing is basically what it says on the box. It's you, a user, testing something. In the old days, this was a product, but now it's more likely to be an app or a website. Companies use it to check how easy and intuitive a thing is to use before they launch it or before they launch a new feature related to their core product. So now you know what it is, here's what you need to actually know about user testing because this wasn't a thing until recently. User testing mainly started in the 1980s but was based on something called human factors which began over 111 years ago and started in 1911 with this guy, Frederick Taylor. This legend not only played golf at the Olympics, but was the world's first management consultant who published a book called The Principles of Scientific Management, which had some incredible gems in it, such as underworking constitutes the greatest evil with which the working people of both England and America are now afflicted. What? Sounds like a great boss to me. Come on. This basically kickstarts the process of businesses researching and implementing ways to make their workers more efficient and experimenting with ways to make their products more user friendly. Sneakily testing on their workers in the 1940s. Like this mischievous scamp, famous psychologist Johnny Carlin at Bell's Labs, who wanted to see how short he could sell telephone cords. So he snuck into the offices of his labs at night and shortened the phone cords until staff members called technical support complaining they were too short. Skipping forward to the 1980s, computers and business begin their journey together. And in 1986, John Brooke at Digital Equipment creates a quick and dirty questionnaire to assess the usability of software. His SUS scale is now the most widely used questionnaire for the evaluation of usability. You know, you must have seen one of these, you know, the strongly disagree to agree scale. It's used everywhere. Then came the big leap in 2006 with automation. Because before that, you had to get loads of people into your labs, which was very costly and time inefficient. All this changed when Catherine Lehman and Ryan West published the methods of automating usability studies using software and crowdsourcing. And boom, everyone could do it. It was cheap and all they needed was you. Which brings us to now and websites like usertesting.com and everyone promoting them on social saying, hey, you can become rich. You can make $4 in five minutes, every five minutes. You can make $120 an hour and you can become a millionaire from it. So can you. So let's set up the rules for this side hustle test. One, I have to do it for seven days from when we're approved to test. And two, I have to fit it around my existing work schedule. Can't just cancel all my meetings and internal work just to sit on usertesting.com for a whole day to see how many tests I can do. Otherwise, that is not a real world practical application of how this side hustle would work. So I've just signed up, but we've encountered our first problem, which is you don't just instantly get access to tests. They actually have to approve you as a tester. So in the meantime, I thought we could try and find someone who's actually done this and made money from it to get an insight into what I can expect in my week of user testing. And I think I found someone. They're on TikTok. I followed them. They then followed me back. So let's go have a chat. Hey Greg, thank you so much for jumping on a call with me or to do a user testing. So you've made money from user testing. I have. How much money did you actually make? Um, <laughs> probably in a year, about 24 grand, something like that. Wow. Fairly 24 grand, yeah. that's loads. Ridiculous is a bit of a side hustle, isn't it? Yeah, 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 okay. So 24 grand, what's that like? Two grand a month on average. So some of these videos on the internet say you can make decent money user testing. There is actually some truth to it. How much money do you think I'll earn in that, in that first week of doing it? <laughs> Go on, just give me, from your experience, what do you reckon it will be? Will I even get any tests in a week? This is the thing. I think that'd be ace. What do we think? That'd be ace. If you made a hundred dollars in yeah. that week, I'd be like- hundred dollars, okay. Yeah, I, I'd, be right. I'd be proud of you. <laughs> So awesome news, we have already been approved. It's taken less than an hour. 
seven minutes. Let's just power through this. So I was really, really pleased when literally about an hour after I submitted my practice test, we were approved. Like it was so quick. It wasn't the one to two days that they suggested, but then we hit our first really big problem. And that was, I was getting no tests for two days over the weekend, nothing. Whereas now I've just logged on and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight available. So I'm gonna see which ones they'll actually let me do. There's already two I don't wanna do because you've gotta like share your Google Analytics and stuff. I'm like, I don't wanna fucking do that. Oh, we found one. I qualify, amazing. It's one to do with trading. Oh, let's accept this and let's get started. Making money. Six minutes, easy money. And then Tuesday rolls around, nothing. The whole day, just no tests appearing at all. Why was I not getting tests? I couldn't figure it out. I feel I'm going insane. I feel like I am going insane here. Just sitting here waiting to do a test. <laughs> and there aren't any. This is what it said. Reviewing your first user test. This can take seven to 10 days. Check my email as always, first thing. I see an email saying, hey, we've reviewed your first test. It didn't take seven to 10 days at all. It had only taken about 24 hours, a little bit longer than a day. So then this is Wednesday morning and I go into my account. I go into my account and there are 30 plus tests available. We were flying. Well, this is unexpected. I managed to sneak in an extra two tests in 15 minutes of each other. Literally just now, as I was making dinner, and on that Wednesday, I did six user tests and earned about $54. So Thursday rolls around, and I get approved for a test, and I click accept, and there's another problem. This test is no longer available. We found our first technical bug, which means that $4 has just gone. Yeah, there's not a lot of time for me to do tests, which is why not getting that one is really frustrating. So I do another one. Same thing happens again, two in a row, but this time it was a $10 test. So now I'm down $14 for the day. And I'm really starting to get pissed off because I'm like, is this a bug in their system? Is it just I'm not going through it fast enough? I didn't know why that was happening. I get this test and it, the bug, whatever the problem was, disappears, which is amazing. So what happened was I managed to do, I think five tests that day. And I was really happy with that because it was, you know, one less than the day before, but still a decent number. So here's how the week ended. 107 tests applied for, 11 accepted. The longest one was 13 minutes. The shortest one, just two minutes. Eight on desktop, three on mobile through the app. Three tests accepted, but then completely removed. So we lost $18 for a grand total of $104. Should have really been 122, but we made 104. I'm happy with that. So should you do this side hustle? And we're gonna give it a score based on three criteria. Initial investment, it's a five because it doesn't cost you a single penny to sign up. It is completely free. So it scores the absolute maximum you can get for initial investment. Nothing is better than free. So time commitment, this is a three out of five because you're still trading your time for money and it's only you that can actually do the test. Earnings potential is only a one out of five because it is not scalable. You're not gonna make millions and millions of pounds. You are bound by you yourself. You have to do it. You can't delegate it to someone else and therefore it's the lowest score on the earnings potential. So overall, it is a nine out of 15, which is 60%, which is a grade C. That's much, much better than I thought it would be going into this. And that is why I'm gonna keep doing this for 30 days, report back on how much we made in 30 days, but this is a good little earner. And so that is why I would highly recommend getting into this for a little bit of money on the side. It is not gonna get you astronomically rich. 
So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would super appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe so you can see the update video in 30 days time. And we are also testing 40 different side hustles so we can show to you which ones are worth investing your time and money into in a realistic way, not like any of these online BS gurus that you see. And you are not gonna wanna miss that. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.